Hi there, I'm Omar Subra and I'm here to show you some of the great technology preview that we have here at Trimble Dimension 2016. What we're demonstrating is a fully autonomous robot. This is super cool. So what you can see here, we've actually captured this demonstration arena uh, with our Teams card, which is a card that can map very accurately the area. And you would see our little robot here. So let's go, let's go, come with me. We'll go and show you the robot. It's right there. Ooh. But I will talk a little bit more in details about that in a few seconds. So let's do a practical case, right? Robots and autonomy are really good for three things. DDD, dangerous, dirty, and dull. So imagine you have a room in which it's very difficult to access and there are some problems in there. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna simulate a problem. We're gonna sabotage an electric box. So come with me. We'll go into this special room. I will go there just as a human, but I'm supposedly not allowed to go there. We are in the back of this room here, and we have three electrical boxes here, and I can choose any of the three I want. So let's say I'm gonna go with number three, right there. And our robot have not seen what's here, but I've, that's the one that has a problem. This electric box is maybe overheating. So now we're gonna instruct the robot to go into this room and basically see what the problem is. So the robot is coming out. It's running fully autonomously, avoiding obstacles. And it goes into that special room where we have the problem. tell me on the other side of the room, maybe it's a drywall or something where I can access it, and it will show me and point me to where I can drill. So in this side, I have access, I'm a human, I can go. The robot gets into the exact position that we want, and it's gonna tell us there is a problem with this box right here. Number three, that's the one we hide on the other side. When he saw the demo, so we talked about the electrician there, and you know, he's over there uh, repairing something, but maybe he forgot a tool, so, or something we're gonna ask the robot to bring to us as we're doing the work. So, in this instance, we will ask the robot to move from this location to the location over there. So go ahead. avoiding me. It's going around me to make sure um, it's doing all the detection, the objects, the people, if you have other things coming in. Now the robot delivered the part and on this side what I will do, we will come back this way. Maybe I'm, uh, I'm very, I have a short memory and the robot will have to bring me another tool. You see it just went again around me to avoid. Gets back maybe to the truck, pick up the other tool, and this time we're gonna have the robot go, so it goes around a company. Deliver the tools or the part. And this time I'm gonna block the entire way. The robot will define the best path to return to its original location right now. So the way of going there was obstructed, and now the robot found the other way because it knows the map. It has the map in the area. It could. We're using the team's card data to actually uh, capture the information, 
but the robot could be doing uh, uh, a mapping on its own, or you could use a beam model, or any 3D data that you have. 